Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here. And I think this is a very important discussion that I feel that really needs to be explained in detail and really needs to get out there. Now, this is again about the topic of makeup, particularly makeup, but also pertaining to tattoos or piercings. Now, this is again, particularly geared towards women with makeup or wear makeup. So I understand that there are the rare cases when people absolutely need to wear makeup if they have a scar or something, you know, that they need to hide. But even that, why hide what's on you, like what's part of you? I mean, yeah, you could probably get surgery to remove it if that, but if something happened to you, uh, you know, let's say hot water or something got onto your skin and you're scarred, you know, that's part of you still, you know? And if you were born and whatever you have on your skin, that's part of you. That's, that's what makes you beautiful and unique. And some people say that, and I, I particularly want to understand and want to understand others, what they, what they feel and what they think. But basically what I feel is that if you have to cover up your natural beauty, then do you truly love yourself? That's the thing. Now, if you're with somebody and they tell you, I love you the way you are natural, why do you have to cover up yourself? So you have, so basically the, per, I feel that the person, whoever's wearing the makeup is insecure with their outer appearance and they care about what other people think because in our world, we don't like to be judged. And we feel that when people are looking at us and saying, Oh, look at that. You know, like we're, we're taught to wear makeup. We're taught to, we're, we're taught to live with vanity and materialism and the whole idea is we came into this world as spiritual loving beings and then we're taught to do something else that's totally unnatural now of course a lot of things in our society are unnatural it's unnatural to be blending fruits and vegetables into juices or or into smoothies but that's what we do and i mean sometimes we need to do certain things but why do we have to conform to beauty standards? I mean, what is a beauty standard? It's what our culture and our society is teaching us or has taught us. And so when we think about it, it's what our culture and what media tells us how we should be, how we should look. So if we don't look a certain way and if we think that people think that we look, you know, ugly or something. I mean, no one looks ugly. We all not we have unique natural beauty within us and on the within us on the inner and also on the outer. And so I believe everyone is beautiful in their own way. No one is ugly and no one needs stuff to cover themselves. They cover their natural beauty. Because there will be someone out there that will love you for who you are, not who society makes you out to be. So why put things and destroy your, your precious body that you absolutely don't need? Oh, I like to wear these things or... You know, like, oh, you're judging women or something like that. It's like, no, I'm not judging anyone. But it's, it's particularly, I don't like at all when women wear makeup. I mean, of course, yes, there is the odd, you know, blush or odd this or odd that, that may, you know, make the person look, I don't know, it just may like touch up or may make the person look a little bit more whatever. But you understand the thing is also has to do with uh, overall health. 
So the way our skin looks is, is overall how we take care of ourselves, how we eat. If we're eating properly, if we're eating what comes from nature, uncooked, if we are getting enough sleep and quality sleep and getting enough, you know, going out in the sun and getting enough sun on our skin, not wearing sunglasses and, and prescription glasses and contacts and all these things and not putting crap on our skins like uh, skin lotions and skin creams and all kinds of things on our skin, then our bodies are going to naturally heal and we're going to become even more beautiful physically. But we are still beautiful. It's just we're putting all this crap and this gook on our bodies and in our hair and everything that now nobody's natural. Nobody's living truly natural accordance with uh, our spiritual nature. So it is up to us as vegans and of course non-vegans as well to... Show people that it is, you know, there's another way of living that does not mean that we have to like conform. So it's totally, goes totally, um, there's another way of living that goes totally away from cultural norms and cultural standards. So the whole idea, basically, of these videos that I'm creating pertaining to our appearance and this uh, goes for men for women for all genders is that in the end we have to unconditionally love ourselves we're putting all this stuff on ourselves because we really don't unconditionally love ourselves you know i had this thing and it's a uh, my tailbone sticking out and it makes my butt uh, look a little funny. And I remember I really never liked women to see it. But then one day I told my ex-girlfriend, or my at the time my girlfriend, and she said she loved it. So I said, okay, she loves it, I love it. And I then thought to myself, okay, if she loves that, and if there's any other imperfections on my body, who cares? Because I love that too. That's part of me. That's part of me. And I love that. I don't want to hide it because I know that if she loves it, others will love it. And if they don't, tough luck for them. So whoever you're with loves you because of you, not because of the makeup that you put on your face to make yourself think that you make yourself look more gorgeous or or the you know the brand name clothing or the you know the piercings or the whatever we have to go against the norm we're conditioned by our culture to believe this is what beauty is we need to put makeup we need to put this we need to put that and uh, over time, we think that is normal, natural, necessary to be putting these things on. Just like eating animals. It's normal, natural, necessary to be eating animal foods. And yeah, that's, that's what we believe. And it's like that with everything. Girls and women think that they need to get their ears pierced or you know, other parts of the body pierced. And then on top of that, we kind of think like, oh, I want to get this and I want to get this on my body and I want to do that and so forth, and we conform to a lot of different things. We conform to so many things. We conform to shaving our armpits, we conform to shaving our pubic hair down there, we conform to putting makeup, we conform to putting earrings and nose rings and, and tattoos and all these things that, in the end, why are we doing these things to our body? And people think that I'm judging, and it's not judging at all. It's not judging at all. I'm trying to understand, first of all, why people are doing this. And I feel that they're doing this because they don't unconditionally love themselves. And I feel that that's really true. And even if they feel they do love themselves, they don't. Like, why would you have to cover up 
all that natural beauty. Why would you have to cover up all the natural beauty with tattoos and things that hide our natural beauty? This absolutely does not make any sense. And that is why I'm speaking out against doing these things to harm the body. And don't forget that we're all interconnected. We're all interconnected. And when we harm ourselves, we harm everyone. And that is why I explicitly come out against doing anything to our bodies unless it's absolutely necessary. If we can't breathe, for example, if we're born or something, or after so many years we can't breathe because of something with our noses, yeah, we have, you know, we have to get uh, surgery done to try and correct that. But if it's, but if it's how we are born, and it doesn't affect us, and we love ourselves, then, okay, leave it alone. Why? That's why most cosmetic surgery is totally unnecessary. Most. There's always ways to go around uh, not having to, you know, rely on surgery for things. So that's my take on this, these issues here. And again, it stems from not loving ourselves. That's what it comes down to. So why hide our true natural beauty? And also don't forget that it's because we're hiding, we're covering up and we're hiding our body because we don't love ourselves. That's basically how it is. That's just basically how it is. So if anybody has anything they want to add, any tips or any, any comments down below, please do not uh, post any really critical or harsh comments down below. Please be loving and caring. And uh, thank you for listening or watching. And don't forget to like this video. Share it around to all your friends and family if you found it useful. And anybody you know that will, that will find it uh, useful. And what else? Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to my email newsletter. And that's about it, everyone. And don't forget to get my books, please. I have them available online for free. Uh, my book, The Journey, is available for free. Uh, the audiobooks, The Lost Love and Return to the Gentle Sea for the Love That Lives in Everyone are available as audiobooks for free on YouTube. So check those out. If you really do want to support my work and for me continuing to create these videos and create Peaceful Village and write some more books and things like that, don't forget to support me as well by buying my books and uh, giving them to people for holidays and celebrations and things like that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, everybody. Bye-bye.